garbage when, you know, you could be fighting over something that's actually worth fighting for, you know? So I think a lot of people get tunnel vision. They focus on things that don't matter at all when they could be focusing on something that's a lot better, you know? So a lot of, 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 a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people, they focus on junk. They, they care about junk. They dwell and obsess over junk when they could just, you know, so again, I mean, it's really, really, really hard. Because, again, you have to find those opportunities to begin with, or you're just going to fall back to whatever, you know, the best thing you can get is. So some people, you know, they don't find any opportunities. They're very boring. You know, they don't, they, they, they don't have that much uh, stuff that's interesting going on. And, you know, when I, I make motivational videos telling you that there's all these opportunities out there, but, like, you just don't find them, and, you know, you find yourself still, like, sitting around playing video games or caring about making a couple of dollars, uh, you know, rather than making, like, the big bucks and, you know, exponential growth and just, you know, it's... I mean, sometimes, like, you, you literally do just apply yourself. You get a little bit out of your comfort zone. And you actually do find a opportunity that's honestly a lot better than what you currently have. So again, like, I mean, the easiest example is you apply for a new job that's more fun, that makes a little bit more money. It's better than staying at a job that's terrible and you make hardly any money. So, I mean, that's like one of the easiest examples of, you know, just everyday things that you could do that could drastically mix up and change things for you. And all you have to do is just like look for it, apply for it, you know, participate, you know, put in a little bit of effort. And the next thing, you got a better opportunity and, you know, it, that can lead to even more opportunities. You never know. Sometimes just you know, going out and doing things uh, gives you unexpected opportunities, you know, to meet people and to do new things and discover new things that allows you to say, oh my God, like I didn't know that all of this stuff existed. Oh my God, I'm going to look into it. Maybe like, you know, I can get into that. Like that looks really fun. I could do that. Um, so yes, I, I, I mean, everybody has their own strengths their own personalities and stuff, and they can leverage that and utilize it in all these different applications. So yeah, the hardest thing is just finding those things, you know. And, you know, I think that's one of the worst things about, like, making motivational videos and stuff. Like, um, there's so many activities out there that are going to make you physically active. And, like, if you have friends, let's say you have a lot of friends, and you hang out with them all the time, maybe even live with them and stuff, you know, and you're always going out to, like, different restaurants, different places, maybe you even go to the gym together, or you do a bunch of physical activities together, it's a lot, a, a lot different than, like, having no friends, and sitting around and, you know, having artificial friends, leveling up in video games, and, you know, just getting all of your ex excitement from being alone and staring at a box. The artificial box is your friend, you know? So people can make these really sad choices of like, okay, I'm just going to waste my time uh, living in a artificial world because, you know, what else am I going to do, you know? So that's kind of like all I really wanted to talk about. Um, that, you know, it's, it's one thing to, to give you guys motivational stuff, but it's another thing to actually find it and to, to, to do it. Sometimes you gotta force yourself, you know, you gotta force yourself. You know, kind of fake it until you make it, to fake it until you make it. I kind of think that a lot of times working out is artificial in the fact that, like, you know, like if you did a lot of physical activities where, like, you know, sports, where you were running a constantly and, you know, doing physical activity, that would give you plenty of exercise. You know, doing a bunch of jumping jacks and push-ups and stuff, sometimes that's just like, you know, making up for the fact that you're not actually doing anything physical. It's not like you're, hunt, you know, hunting for your own food or anything like that. So, you kind of have to do all these different things to, like, artificially keep you maintained. Or, and again, I think it's, it's, a lot of people talk about this in the digital age, you know, people don't really communicate the same as they used to, 
like cell phones and stuff, you know. These days you can just like text each other rather than actually having to meet each other and communicate in the real world, which leads to like social anxiety and stuff, you know, and unhealthy, you know, not, not getting enough exercise and stuff because you can just kind of sit there and stare at a phone all day. And again, it's just so much stuff out there. But the main thing is like sometimes it can, like uh, these motivational things can feel like unrealistic. Like when I'm telling you guys to like have these extremely high standards that are pretty much unobtainable to a lot of people. So a lot of people just kind of give up. You know, they're like, oh, this is kind of like delusional thinking. You know, like, you know, um, and you should just be happy with what you currently have. Um, and just like settle and, you know, eat junk food and play your video games. And have mediocre relationships and friendships and, you know, just kind of wallow in what you, you currently have. But, again, like, if you put in some effort, you do get new opportunities. That's the fact, you know. So, it's up, it's up to people, like, how hard they want to try. How, how much effort they want to put into making changes. Some people just don't have it in them, you know. Some people just don't have it in them. But a lot of times, like, trash, trashing stuff gives you the opportunity to find something new. Because a lot of people will hold on desperately to what they have invested in, you know? I kind of talked about that, like, what if, what if you have a business that makes no money, but you invested so much time and energy and effort into it over the years? You can't possibly fathom just throwing it out, even though it's just holding you back and distracting you, and it's not doing anything of value. If, sometimes if you just throw it out, you can start new, new things and like, all of a sudden you're like, wow, <laughs> this new project or, you know, thing that I started makes a lot more money. It's a lot more successful. It's a lot better. Wow, I wish I did this sooner. Sometimes if you're just not happy with stuff, you know, you, you gotta get rid of it before you... you you can find it new opportunities. I saw that on a, uh, like a TikTok or an Instagram, like, you know, say, like, all your friends and relationships, like, you're just not happy in them. It's, I mean, sometimes, like, you know, it's, it's better to just, like, move on so that you can get, you know, new opportunities and stuff. Sometimes that's really important, you know? Sometimes people can get invested in garbage. Like I said, that's the biggest issue. People just, like, focus on things that are not going to go anywhere. And the sooner they snap out of it, the better. Again, there's so many hobbies and niches and communities and stuff. And it's very easy to get pulled into, like, some unproductive one that's not going anywhere, that just kind of makes you obsess on stuff that does that, that's not going to go anywhere, that may even be unhealthy and counterproductive, you know, and make you unhappy. And, like, if you realize that, like, you're unhappy and it's not going anywhere, you know, the, the, the best thing to do is to actually take care of yourself and move on so that you can actually find something that's productive and happy and fulfilling. That's like the biggest thing. Like people want to quit their jobs because their jobs are unfulfilling. Maybe they only have a job that they, they, they make a lot of money at, but it makes them unhappy and miserable. But they could, you know, I use that as an example. You could get a job that pays less, but is, you know, more fulfilling and makes you happy. There's nothing worse than spending like 12 hours at a job that just makes you unhappy and miserable. You know, uh, so anyway, I'll see you guys later. Uh, I, I do feel like sometimes like I give you guys like these unreasonable expectations for yourselves that I definitely can't fulfill. But it's like when you have those super high standards, you know, it kind of helps rather than having subpar standards so at least like you can meet like some sort of like a minimum standard 
completely obese and obsessed with complete and utter garbage. So I'll see.